Hi, this is Edwin, staff engineer with Serotech. Today we'll be talking about local offsets uh, and reverse engineering in NX12. So I did a, a video a while back that covered uh, a few of the functions and features in reverse engineering within NX12. Uh, today we'll be covering another feature uh, and that is local offsets. So to start things off, we have a scanned car model here. And with this scan car model, we're essentially going to offset a portion of the hood here. So we'll be dealing or working with the facet geometry itself, which basically enables um, you as the designer uh, to work with facet geometry scan data rather than having to recreate a model and spend time doing some extensive reverse engineering. So to start things off, we want to understand the contour of the surface. So we're going to go to analysis and we're going to do a section analysis on this part. So what this does, it basically creates grid lines or breaks up your facet data and enables you to dynamically select certain facet data and then see that uh, selection or uh, the features uh, update or change the model dynamically. So you can see we have our grid lines now breaking up our part in the X and Y uh, axes, the Z we left untouched. So in this case, um, as you can notice, I have two additional tabs you don't usually see here, uh, one being polygon modeling, the other one being reverse engineering. Uh, within reverse engineering, you have features um, and options such as detect primitives, um, reverse uh, rapid surfacing, deviation gauge, uh, etc. However, in polygon modeling, you now have this where it breaks into more of how you deal with the actual facet data itself, and that includes uh, smooths, uh, clean up the facet body, subdivide, make solid. So in this case, we're going to work in the, the operations group and uh, work with local offsets. So again, we are uh, manipulating the facet geometry as it stands. We didn't touch the facet geometry or the um, or the scan data. Uh, so we're able to modify it and see, um, based on a change to the design, uh, we're able to see how it dynamically changes and we can kind of observe that without doing an extensive modeling or reverse engineering. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select our region where we want to offset. So again, it's going to be on the hood of the car. So we can go ahead and snap to that. And then we're going to select this area right here. And as we do that, uh, I first wanted to show you that um, you can just do a straight offset and change this value. And you can see that it's just grabbing those facet uh, elements or those facets and they're just extruding it up or offsetting it up by a distance. Uh, you can also, as you can see, it's just literally an extrude here. You can also smooth it. So we can go here to constant offset and we can smooth uh, or it's like the shape. So it can be smooth or sharp. We want to be smooth in this case. We can change the distance as well. Um, there isn't much to this function. Um, just wanted to show you. It's a really simple way, also featuring some of NX's tools that you have that you see here, where you can easily uh, manipulate and work with facet data. Uh, the local offset in this case is is helpful because again, it's a good example to kind of show you uh, how you can work with um, facet or scan data without doing extensive reverse engineering. Um, so after we do that, uh, you can show the results as we're doing right now. We'll just turn that off as well. And um, let's say we don't want it to be extruded up. You can always just create like an indent or a divot within the part. And you can see now we've created an indent as well. And you can see how our lines that are breaking up our model, how they follow the contour of our um, new feature that we've added uh, in our scan data. So under the results, we want to actually extrude this up. And uh, you have a couple of more options here. So uh, the method in which you transition, uh, you can also do it by selected region. Um, uh, but more often than not, um, if you want just a smoother transition, the system can do it for you. And then uh, you can just specify the distance in which you want it to smooth over. So again, I can keep increasing this. And you can see the changes in which that distance increases, that it keeps smoothing over. So quick and easy function uh, on how to use it. 
Um, again, we did first go into analysis and we looked at the section analysis to see the contour or break up the contour of this um, scan data. And then based off of that, then we can go dynamically change the facet body and see it dynamically change. Uh, and in this case, we did local offsets. So thank you for listening. Uh, hopefully you can tune in to more videos that we have on our channel. Um, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.